Machado so far. Pretty damn good for Ian Machado. Gary in the big show. He came to the UFC in 2021 as the Cage Warriors champion, and he has done nothing but live up to, if not exceed the hype. Neil Magny, Daniel Rodriguez, Gabriel Green among the high-level scouts on his resume. But now the challenges get stiffer. And there are a lot of people that still want to knock Ian Machado Gary. They want to tap into his personal life. They want to question the commitment. The man's committed, and that I can assure you. And now training out of Brazil under Diego Lima. He is ready to show the world that he is the best at 170 pounds. there's a more appropriate moniker for this guy than that. Have you ever seen a fighter respond better to a loss than Sean Brady did against Kelvin Gastelum after he was humbled by the loud remember the name Muhammad? This man's wrestling and grappling and sheer physical strength is as scary a proposition, I would think, for any future welterweight contender. And now with momentum reacquired, we'll see if Sean Brady will take that requisite next step. for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the future Ian Machado Gary! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Sean Brady! Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. Good. All right, Philadelphia PA is on the map, courtesy of Sean Brady, one of the oncoming welterweight contenders in this division. He would tell you he's the most avoided guy in this division, but the opponent tonight had no problem signing on the dotted line. We'll see if Brady can get his wrestling game going early in this round tonight. Going to the body now with that hook, well placed there by Gary. Oh, nice little right hook there. having no issue getting the limb to the target there. The fighter lands a kick to the leg now, and a pretty good one at that. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Watch the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling start. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Lands to the body there. Brady gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Straight right, he misses. Rips the body there for good measure. Ian Machado, Gary gets caught by that straight punch there. 
Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Both guys appeared to land there. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Pretty interesting to see him go. Oh, yeah. Huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Oh, big punch land. Oh, great combination of strikes there. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of smoke in his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You've gotta move, you gotta change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Let's go out there and let's put some good striking combinations together. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right. Round two. Our right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very easily matched. The match record did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, nice. Nice. What a great sequence by him mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should be. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. It's so dangerous because you're one inch away from getting swept. But he's so comfortable and confident in there. Well, not exactly what we thought we would see out of this jiu-jitsu fighter. He's had a lot of success on the feet, and I think this is why sometimes the form can lie if you lean too heavily. Absolutely. I mean, you think you're coming in here to fight a grappler, and this guy looks like a boxer tonight. His hands have looked crispy. His kicks, everything that he is doing has worked, and I think this is partly due to the fact that you think he's trying to take you down, when in reality, this guy can fight everyone. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked. Huge there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh! Well, both of them are landing massive shots. Well, that is a high ankle two takedown right there, and it comes right after he caught the leg. So, back to his wheelhouse. Let's see how much more damage he can inflict. Well, you gotta think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Let's go. We need to score that takedown now. Swing and a miss by Brady. Well, he pops a shot there. You know he's tougher than I am, right? But this man has absorbed so much damage upstairs that... He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. 30 seconds to go in round two. Great block there. Oh! Massive right hand. Seconds winding down in round two. Two rounds in the books. Stop, stop, stop. Well, the 
swelling on his face is extreme at this point in time. I'm not sure that the doctor's going to let him continue here. Cutman hustling in, and he's going to apply that end swell quickly. Don't start protecting that eye. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Pretty nice lead right there by Brickhouse Brady. Strike is blocked, then counters effectively with an inside leg kick. Good sequence there by Machado Garrett. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. And he switches to southpaw. Clean with the right hook. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking fight. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much. Oh, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Oh, nice right hand. He's hurt bad. He's hurt. Another one. And back to his feet. Nice leg kick. High-level mixed martial arts there as he works for the takedown after catching the leg. Now let's see if he can inflict some damage here on the ground. In the half guard. He pinned his arm. He's got him in the crucifix. Right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. He's going after that cut over and over again, and every time he lands, the cut gets worse. Shot to the body. He told us he was going to attack that region. Mission accomplished. Mission It does not get much better. Big left hand lands. He's going. He's going. Back to the feet. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Real. Oh! Oh, 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 my goodness. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Buffer to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 49 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Sean Brady! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You go only after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.